Why don't we go down here and have a look? Oh, nice! Oh, this is the store to be, baby! Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers! My name is Games for Cakes and welcome back to Dead State! In the first episode, we kind of found our way around a little bit, got to know the game mechanics, and there's still a lot more to learn and to understand how the game actually fully me mechanically works and the social aspect of talking to all your other community members and all that. That stuff we're still gonna have to feel uh, our way through and figure out. But we got the basic idea. I want to continue a little bit more because I want to get to know the game a little bit better from all the aspects. And we got to do another one or two episodes, two, two, two to three episodes, probably more likely. And then we're going to go from there. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the box to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. I haven't figured out yet how to fix the fence. I'm assuming at some point we're going to have to go outside and find where the fence is broken and fix it. But we're going to figure it out. The first things we have to do here. Oh, look at that. That looks like the broken fence parts here. But the first thing we have to do is what we were told at the end of the last episode is go to our bed and take a rest. Let's see if that works. Go to bed and end the day. Oh, okay, yes. All right, so you get a daily summary. Okay, let's see how this works. All right, um, let me summarize this now. I just had to read through these. Now, this is very interesting. This game has some very interesting mechanics. Now, obviously, here's the gen general thing about food. That's very straightforward. You have your food that you have uh, currently in stock and then the food that was eaten. And we are basically now in the moment at zero food. So the first priority of us, obviously, is to get food. Now, the moral is a very, very important part of this game. Now, you have moral bonuses and moral penalties. Now, the penalties are coming really big from the broken fence, the starvation, and the electricity. These are things we obviously can fix easier than um, unhappy people, yeah? So there's a difference between moral and motivation. So the way the game explains it here is that a moral affects the entire shelter, yeah? But a motivation, sorry, mood is something you have to deal with with each individual person. So if a person is in a very bad mood, you're probably better off talking to them directly. But if your overall moral is very low, you can't, probably can fix it by fixing the fence or by uh, getting more luxury items. Now, I'm only interpreting that the way I understand it. So I think that's right. If you have more information on that, um, let me know in the comments below. And also, any hints and tips is appreciated, of course, you know, what to go out scavenging for and what to keep an eye out for that's really handy. Because this game is out for a long time, so you guys know more about it than me. Now, there is antibiotics, and in the moment we have no injured people, but if a, a person person that's infected and uh, not injured infected goes uh, for three days without antibiotics they either they either gonna kill themselves or they're gonna ask you to put them down so you, you're gonna lose them which is bad so antibiotics are very important so I can see food and antibiotics being a really important thing but at the same time moral is important so everything is important but you're still gonna have to somehow prioritize obviously starvation is a very important thing and um, so we have to look after that and we have to sort out the fence so let's continue hey I know we don't have many options, but please don't take my mom out there with you. She means, well, I get that, but if anything happened to her... Well, but you see, it's the apocalypse, so I, I, I... You know, I mean, we try to keep her safe, but she is her own person. I'll try my best to make sure she comes home safe, so what are you saying is someone else should risk their life instead. You see, that just sounds really bad, so I think number one is important, yeah? I'd like to believe that's good enough, but this is my mom's life we're talking about here. Yeah, but what you want me to do? Put her in bubble wrap? Put her in a corner and hope nothing bad happens? This is life, okay? So if an apocalypse happens, even with your own children, um, you want to make sure that they're safe, but also that they can fend for themselves and that they're tough, you know? So, I mean, you're gonna need to do these things. Please don't take her out anymore. Before you can say anything, Renee walks off. That's something she shouldn't talk to me about. Like, that's something she's gonna have to deal with her mom. We should begin repairing the fence today. Do you have the supplies? Yes, we did actually find supplies, which is great. Um, we should get the task assigned to some people here. I've put up a task board in the cafeteria. All right, so I don't have to do it myself. You should assign people to jobs. They know what they should be doing. Oh, that's very important. That's good. Also, one thing they mentioned in the, in the, in the mood and the moral um, text is that some people get bad mood when there's low moral which makes sense but some people get bad mood when there's higher moral what is wrong with you like if, if everybody has a good moral and everybody thinks we're gonna do well and we we're, we're having a lot of food and we're doing well why would you have the mr downside like going like oh this is shit it's going too well that's the ones you send out on the scavenging mission to the territory where you know that accidents might happen 
<laughs> I'll make sure we keep track of everyone's progress so we can manage this place efficiently. All right, that's very good. For now, you should assign some people to repair the fence. Since we have the necessary components, it is not a very complicated task, so anyone should be up for it. Oh, that is very good. I like that. Um, well, we'll only be able to work during daylight hours, so keep that in mind. The fence is our top priority. If anything happens to it, everyone here is at risk. As long as we keep it up, people won't worry about it. Understood. I'll go take a look at the task board. Let's hope they know how to follow directions. Well, let's be gentle about it. There we go. So, also, if you have any spare parts left, you may want to try and get that abandoned where that abandoned well on the property operational again. Oh, the source of fresh water would definitely help boost morale around here. Oh, that is nice. We'll see about that. Good idea. I look into that, definitely. All right, let me just go through this here. The job board is absolutely critical at running a shelter properly. This is only two pages, so it should be fine. And the only way you can get that fence repaired. Okay. It's located on the far corner of the cafeteria on the other side of the stairs. Its interact icon should be a, uh, a marker. Run over and have a look. All right, so I can't just access it through some shortcut. I physically have to access it. All right, let's go and check it out. Cafeteria, where are you? Okay, oh, sweet. I like this that you physically have to actually walk there. All right, so I went just through this really quickly. Now, basically, we have all these people that are currently in our shelter or our allies that are uh, available to us here, including myself listed here. Now, we can either make them part of the party, of a party, we can give them a job, and uh, we can make them build something or repair something or give them no job at all. So in the moment, this person here has no job because I think they're injured, so they can't really do anything. It doesn't really say if they are or not. It's just said they're uncooperative. I assume they're still injured. So, for example, if we look at, uh, not Elaine, at uh, Renee, yeah, she's our medical girl. So her skill in, medic in medical would be really, really high. A lot of things that you want to build require certain stats. So, for example, if we're looking at myself and we're going to build, we can see we can do a watchtower, a chicken coop, a well or a workshop. Meanwhile, Renee can actually only go and build an infirmary. And that is because you can see on the bottom right, it requires a five medical skill, a two mechanical skill, and it requires 31 parts. It would be good to have a well as well. <laughs> That's what he said for fresh water. Um, as well as getting the fence repaired. Now the fence repair, the problem with the fence repair is that it is one part per HP. So we have 72 parts, so we could theoretically use them all because we still, we have to fix 100 HP, but we're not going to. So we're gonna do the well first and what we're going to do is to build the well, we need mechanical skill four. Anita seems to have that. A crowbar one, which is great. So she has a crowbar and 27 parts. Okay, so we gotta assign it to that. This will spend the required resources immediately. Are you sure you want to start building this upgrade? Yes. Now they also recommend, then you have this, okay, sorry, they have this past time here, which basically means this shows you how long the job will take. And I don't know exactly where it shows you that it's supposed to show you this. Let me see. There, 96 hours. Now this will take 96 hours as in the time spent working on it. They don't work at night. So in 24 hours, it wouldn't be minus 24 hours. So let's see if anybody can help her. Mechanical um, build. And if we click on well, already spent so he can help oh that is great oh he only needs a mechanical skill of one then maybe joel can actually help with that item and resources already spent okay so he can help now it's 48 hours now what we can ask um david to do he can go and start repairing the fence and it's asking you how many resources now i don't know what else we need re resources for so i would say let's make it 35 so we have a little bit of a buffer and let's go with that now that's only nine hours, so we can assign Rene, if we want to, to help with the fence repairs. Oh no, the well, I actually was going to ask her to help with the well, so that's 32 hours. Or, yeah, let's, you know what, it's fine. Let's, let's do the fence repairs, okay? Because that's more important, six hours. And the well can be something that we do separately, because then I can take Joel with me to go out and put him in a party with me and we can go scavenging. Elaine seems to be okay, but she is very disgruntled. So if we could find where she is and talk to her, Elaine seems entirely traumatized by the plane crash and cannot work in the shelter or go out in the field. I think we're gonna need to talk to her. There's Elaine now. Let's see if she actually wants to talk to us. The woman barely notices you. She sees, uh, she, 
She eyes some point in space and occasionally sobs. You were on the plane with me, weren't you? The woman mouths the word plane, then begins to sob uncontrollably. Can you tell me what happened? She closes her eyes and shakes her head. I just want to help. She breaks down and goes into a crying fit. You don't think you will be able to talk to her again for a while. Be that way, but you're letting everyone here down. Sometimes it's tough love. You see, I don't want her to feel like a failure in telling her like, oh, you're useless. But at the same time, you want to show you got sympathy. But given the situation we're in, you gotta toughen up, girl. You just gotta have to get on with things, you know? And yes, we have time to feel upset about things, but there's a time and a place and you're gonna have to start getting pulling yourself together. So why don't we, um, let's go outside and scavenge a little bit because we need food. Okay, we're gonna be going to the downtown district. Now it says it's a commercial district, but it doesn't mean we can't find food. I mean, this said repairs, but there was actually a restaurant. Now we can't zoom in or out of here and there's no random encounters on the map, is there? Okay. So that's pretty cool. Now we only have a party of two, so we're gonna need to be careful. We don't want to take on a lot of things necessarily. So we want to be very careful. And we still have our melee weapons on us. And yeah, I believe that as well. Okay, so we have our ammunition. We have our lock picks. Very, very good. So I'll do my best out of here, Susan. Believe in me. Believe you me. Okay, so let's have a look and see what shops we have here. This is the city hall. Oh, like, 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 like. And what shops do we have here? Oh, a diner and a bar. Nice. Bounty and the county grocery. A grocer. I don't know what a grocer is. Does that mean it's food as well? I don't know. Could be. Candy machine. Okay, so this could be really good for us for food. And okay, here's just gigantic sinkhole, but nothing to go in here. There's some cars. There's a laundrette. Not really too keen on the laundrette. What is that? Is that a coffee shop here? What is this blue building? I Or oh, that gray building. Actually, I don't know what this is. I have no idea. And it has... Oh, it's the police station. Wow, okay. Maybe we can take a police car with us. And then we have the city hall. And that's pretty much it. So city hall, police station possibly, and then a laundromat and food. So I think we should see if we can get some food, possibly investigate what the story is with the police station, check out a couple of cars. We might get some shotgun and bullets here. We'll see. All right, we're gonna have a check out the dumpsters. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this with the editing. Um, insects, a handful of edible insects um, can be sucked. Oh, maybe drop moral. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, let's check out these guys here. Now, um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna edit this. Um, I'm gonna hopefully edit some of the stuff out, but in general, I try to leave the stuff in that's interesting, like the looting and what we're gonna find. And the combat depends how many people we encounter, it can drag out. So we may or may not um, have like long episodes because of it, but we'll try our best. Okay, so there's nothing here. Let's go into here. There's no zombie here. That's good. Check out. Oh, love it. Love it. Actually, can we just take everything? Nice. Okay, very lucky. There's no zombies here. Let's take that. Okay, that doesn't have a moral punishment. Uh, the rat, soon to be known as apocalypse, apocalypse chicken. Some people may not want to eat this, but it's better than going hungry. Can be stocked as food, but moral could go down. Perishable. Yeah, I'm not going to pick up anything where morals could go down. No, you see, that I wanted to go over there. Excellent. There we go. I'm still getting used to the controls. Now, let's go over here and see if there's a zombie in there. Oh, okay. Good. Luckily, there wasn't. Okay, so we're going to take the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is good. It has to be a luxury item. I think it is. I know mayonnaise, if nothing else, it does provide calories. Food for allies. Nice. Soup. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. And, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So this was a very good first shop. Let's go over to the to the other shop and see if we can find anything there. And of course, we still have to make sure if the streets are clean. Oh, candy machine, nice. Oh, love it. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the security of this arming the alarm. I'm assuming you open the door and the alarm goes off. And I think I already checked this just a second ago, but our science is pretty crap. I mean, yeah, it's non-existent basically. So we're not gonna go and science anything up for now. So let's go and check the diner and bar. Okay, check if there's any zombies. Oh, there was something 
there was something there. Oh, we have to be careful not to get too close to them. We, oh, I think if we go across, they can see us. Yeah, they're looters. They're not zombies. So they can see us from the same distance we can see them. What we could try to do is go sneak around the building and see if we can get the car. We could do that. But we definitely want, don't want to go here. So, yeah, let's not do that. I'm apologizing for my dog in the background, guys. I'm really sorry. She barks at anything. It's somebody's obviously coming home right now. And she goes bananas about that. And it's like, so that when somebody comes home and when they're in the driveway, um, she barks until they come into the house. It's ridiculous. Anyway, a bag of squeal boy pork rinds, jar of preservation, wine. Very good. I like it. So let's have a look here, zombie. No. Okay. Excellent. Now let's loot a little bit with um, Susan again, just to, you know, even the load. Oh, nice. There's some luxury items and some weapons. Bleed kitchen knife. Nice. I love it. An average chef's knife used for dicing up. Basic damage. Oh, that is lovely. Okay, and then we have the kitchen. We have beans. Very good. All right, that's it. So let's see if we can sneak around because I'm really not interested in fighting humans. Fighting zombies is one thing, but humans, they could have guns. They could be fully kitted out. They could have armor. Not really interested in these guys. I mean, they're pretty... Well, there's only one, but still, if, if he has a weapon, then we're pretty screwed. So let's go and see if we can go the back way. Now, I just did a save, like, just to make sure, because I want to try something. I have lockpicking. And I wonder, does the alarm go off if you actually lockpick? I mean... It looks okay. Watch out. This building seems to have an active alarm. Buildings with active alarms have a trigger box near their doors, which are disarmed using the science skill. Look for a box on the side of the building with a blinking red light. Buildings with alarms will warn you if you approach a door and have the high enough science skill to disarm the alarm. If you don't, you won't receive a warning, so keep your eyes open. If triggered, alarms will make a noise at a certain level of a certain amount of rounds. This is a crater depending on the difficulty of alarms. So, okay. Is it certain that it will go off? Or is it because... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, let's see what happens. I mean, we, we made a safe, so this is great. So does it mean zombies are coming? No. Okay. Because let's go through here, because look, it's absolutely worth it, obviously. There should be no zombies in here. Coffee machine, that is awesome. Okay, let's go over to Joel and loot with him a little bit. Oh, the filing cabinet is actually in the other room. Okay, let's close this door, actually. Let's go through the office desk. Now, I hope the bandits didn't um, hear that. Okay, what do we have here? Where's that? That's a filing cabinet as well. Okay, we've got books. Luxury items. This is really good. If we can get away with looting this, that would be really, really awesome because there's a lot of luxury items in here. A bathroom stall. Okay, let's see if somebody died um, in the bathroom. Nope. Good. Let's open this door. A notebook. Oh, another luxury item. There's loads of luxury items in here. I love it. And that's it. That's the whole building. Wow. Okay, that, that was really good. Now, I wonder if we can get sneaky. And oh, that police car, that would be so good. I mean, if we can keep our distance, the bandits shouldn't really see us. I mean, you can't crouch or anything, but the bandits shouldn't see us. Oh, look at them. There's a few of them there. Oh, that is nice. A taser. Wow, knocked down 100%, dizzy 100%, that is awesome. Okay, who picked that up? Joel. Now, he has a gun. I think he should give it to Susan. Excellent. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes. Rising sun, but a beautiful copper butch representing a rising sun. You have no idea how it got here, but it gives you a little hope that humankind can survive even the most terrible hardships. So this is very good for morale, I suppose. 
This is awesome, guys. Now, the bandits are... Oh, there is actually more than one. The bandits are over there, so... If we want to go into the store, we should do that from this side. I don't know if I want to do it. Let's go... Let's walk down here and see how far we're going to be able to get to the side. And maybe we can take on this building as well. That would be really awesome. Okay, so let's use the lockpick. Does the lockpick not have durability? Your mechanical skill is to low to pick this lock. What about Joel? Okay, I suppose we could do brute force. Let's do that. Hmm? Ah, balls. Okay, that, that was ten. Oh, he missed. There we go. And she hopefully can tase him. There we go. Nice. That is awesome. And now she can switch to that and slash him. So let's let's smash his head in. So let's hit him. And then stun him. There we go. So that means hopefully he's not going to be able to run far. So this is 7 AP. Oh, he did get actually quite far. There we go, 63. And you're gonna come back here and that's it. So hopefully this will take us out of battle because he's running away. Oh, he's coming back for more. Okay. There we go, nice. Ah, balls. There we go, nice. Hopefully that will stop the combat now. All right, we're out of combat. That was a bit... Wow, okay. I'm glad I had that taser. That really helped and nobody got hurt. I'm surprised. Why don't we go down here and have a look? Oh, nice. Oh, this is the store to be, baby. No? Desk? Oh, man. We can we take it all. And then there is an exit right here behind us, I think. So this would be absolutely brilliant. This would be the best loot run ever. If we get away with this, this would be just absolutely fantastical. Oh, look at that. There must be more guns down there as well. Let's go and check this desk. What is that? A data item? I don't even know what a data item is. Fragments of data lifted from multiple sources. Hopefully piecing this these together digitally can give you some answers or at least some amusement to read. Okay. Let's get this desk. Oh, gloves. Nice. Armor effects. Marksman. That is pretty cool. I like that. So maybe he can even wear them right now. Um, let me see. Weapon, weapon, accessory, legs, arms. Nice. And the goons are outside. Oh, nice. A pickaxe. That is intense. Damage, 20 to 35, but it's 6 AP. You want to have a lot of um, action points available to use that. Okay, no zombies. Good, good. I'm so oh, antipionics, codeine. And so, okay, codeine, that is good for painkillers. I was just about to say. That is awesome. And there's nothing in the cells. I love that. And this room we're going to do last because we might take a risk of attracting attention. Oh, beautiful. I can't carry this much. Can I carry one thing? No. Okay, so we're going to have to switch over to Susan. Nice. She can still carry stuff. Oh, my balls, man. So many guns and ammunition. That is sick. And toilet paper, always very important. That's it, guys. We're finished with this. Now, hopefully, we're gonna get out of here alive. We did loot everything. I'm not check. Well, we didn't check this store here, but seeing that the bandits came from over there, I'm not too keen to get around that corner here. So, let's hope we're gonna get out here alive. Oh, there's our friend. He came back. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. I'm really tempted to take him out, but I think at this stage, I, I'm just going to go to the exit, and that's it. Unless you can't do that, you're in combat. Which, of course, would be a bit of a pain in the balls. Yeah, we don't have a choice. I think we're going to have to leg it, yeah. Because he, he has too many action points. There we go. We're just going to run to the exit, and hopefully that's it. He's almost dead. Okay, do you know what?
there we go. End of story. Let's just loot him and get it over and done with. And loot him. Excellent. We got more ammunition. That's it. Okay, let's leg it before his friends come. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. That was awesome. We did so much looting, guys. That was really amazing. And it took only two in-game hours. So that was a really, really good morning. Um, let's go back. Let's look at our spoils. I'm really excited for this game. I'm loving this so far. Let me know what you think. I know that when we do the battles, it can take a little bit of like very silent and thinking, but it's all part of the game. Let me know what you guys think like in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. All right, we're back. Shelter return summary. Your allies transferred the following um, six special items. Food, nice. Look at the number of food. That is amazing. What a run. 24 luxury items. We got even some fuel if you want the generator going. Fresh food. The following items were copied to the data system. One, that data system thing is obviously something very unique and special. And I have no idea what that is. 